Hi, this is Lisa. Welcome. I'm going to do a cut of the, um, the acorn and the oak leaves from the Creative Memories Cheerful Seasons cartridge for the Cricut. I'm going to make it three inches because I've just done the maple leaf and I was surprised on how small it was. But you can see I have my mat loaded and ready to go. I'm thinking the shadow is going to be a green to follow along with the book. I think the orange is going to be an entire cut, this cut. The red looks awfully big also. But the brown looks very small, so I put a very small piece of brown paper on there. And we're going to see how we do it three inches for the size. And I would pick the size from this button right here. So let me go ahead and load my mat. I'm going to line it up with the rim. I'm going to position my blade on the paper. I'm going to hit reset all to start with a clear slate. So I want to do the shadow first. This will be the biggest cut of all. If this fits, they'll all fit. So I need to find the acorns. Now it's done by seasons. The first row is spring, second row is summer, third row is fall, and this is the last button, the last white button in the fall third row. I need to shift first and then hit the acorn button. And that will get me my shadow. Okay, that's what I expect on the screen. I'm going to go ahead and hit cut. And we'll see what the size looks like. Okay, let's check the size. So my paper was a 4 by 6 and this cut is roughly a 5 by 3. Three and, a, three and a quarter maybe. So let me show it to you. But I had my dial set at three. This will give you a, a look. It's a little bit smaller than you think it would be, again, like the maple leaf. So I'm glad I did a three inch instead of two and a half. So let me go ahead and reload this. I'm going to hit load mat again. I'm going to go to my orange paper. And now I'm confident it's going to fit on. So. All I need to do is hit the oak leaf, or the acorn, acorn they call it. And that's what I expect on the screen. So let me go ahead and hit cut. visiting me today. Okay, that was a great cut. Now I'm going to do the red leaves and the stems. So I'm going to go to the top of my red paper. And I need to hit the layer button and the acorn or oak, oak leaf button. Okay, it looks great. I'm going to go ahead and cut it. Okay, the last thing I need to cut are the acorn tops, and I'm thinking my previous brown paper is just so big, it's just a waste of paper. I'm going to take this other piece of brown, which is smaller, I'm going to put it on my mat, and I'm picking the direction, because if, the, if it cuts like this, it should be wider than longer, so I still need the layer button on. I need to shift an acorn button. Whoops. Let's cut it and see how that looks. Wow, really small. It fit in my paper just fine. I hit the unload mat. And I'm going to show you what my mat looks like coming out of the printer. 
gorgeous cut. I'm very happy with it. Okay, and even this piece of brown was an overkill. Look at that. So there are all my cuts. Okay, here's the shadow cut. I'm going to need my book. I should be facing the other direction like that. Okay. Next is the orange piece. Now the stems. Look how thin the stems are. I would got to be really careful taking that off. Otherwise the stems will break. But it's beautiful. Let me flip it. Oh. Ooh, ah. And there's some adhesive left over from a mat. I'm just going to roll that off. Okay, the leaves are next. Here are the leaves. Now again, this is cut at three inches. It cut very well. It could cut smaller probably and still look very nice. But not too much smaller because you'll start losing the veins. And the acorn tops. I'm not sure who, which acorn gets what. We're going to see if they both fit. Okay, and there is the acorn oak leaf die cut. Now, for memory jargon, this will still be red, brown. This would be green. And this big cut is orange. That's just a reminder. Well, this is the last video in the fall series because the next, the next page is winter. So I want to thank you for joining me and have a great day.